Hello everybody, my name is Sergey and welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. And today I'm gonna show you a brand new game and also a tutorial for this game. It's called Emoji Match Up. But before we continue, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe because all of my PowerPoint games are absolutely free to download. You can find the link in the description. And now let me show you how to play this game. Let's go! So this game is similar to the squid game, the second game where you need to match the shapes in a game but in this game you need to match the emoji so you have four players you need to find four pairs and get four points to win this game there are two winning options in this game one option is when you're gonna get four points you press on a on a color of the face on your character and it will show you the winning slide. There are two winning slides that you can get from your character. The first one is where you just win the game with four points and that's it. You're gonna get a nice house with a girl <laughs> and that's it. And to become an ultimate winner, you need to find the badge, the sheriff badge, and you will become a sheriff and the winner and this is the ultimate way to win in this game so let me show you the mechanics behind this game in the middle we have a lot of shields with a badge sheriff star a sheriff badge and when you press on this shield you're gonna get an emoji face and then you need to press one more time to match this emoji and we've got a match now you can give the player a point and in case you don't have a match then you press on the x to hide this emoji like this now we've got the face with the rainbow mouth the rainbow mouth will take a player to another slide where you need to find the sheriff badge to become the sheriff okay so you press on this face and the player needs to select the hat to find the badge this means we didn't find it and you press back and that's it also some of the shields have bombs for example like like if I press here I know like here and you cannot have a match and you need to hide this face back let me show you the first option for winning the game you're gonna get four points and you press on a character <laughs> and as I said if you win this game you're gonna get a nice house and a girl <laughs> Now let me show you another winning slide and let's press back on this face the, with the rainbow mouth, ra rainbow tongue. <laughs> and let's say that the player found this badge. Then you need to press back and then you just press on the badge If this player wins and get four points, so not only you need to get this badge, but also you need to get four points. And then you press on the face. You don't have a girl, <laughs> but you, you, you became a sheriff in this town <laughs> now let me show you how to make this game so we're gonna close this powerpoint and here i've got 
hey, if you're still watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All my PowerPoint games are yours to download for free. Just check out the link in the description below. Clean PowerPoint slide, the first slide. So you need to select this and press delete. Also, you need to go to transitions and press on this on mouse click off. Put, put it off and that's that's it okay so the first slide well as you know the first slide I have intro slide so here I've I created four folders uh, for example here all players uh, background and emojis for matching and also some other stuff like bomb and a batch and a cactus and so on so before creating a game you need to have some kind of idea about your game and also what do you need what kind of resources do you need what kind of music or what kind of backgrounds and so on so when you have all these ideas you put it in your folder and then you can create your game without um, blocking all the inspiration during the creation during the making of your game uh, let's start with the first slide it's an intro slide the starting point you can create any way you want it I use Photoshop to do it and you can use anything you would like to or maybe even just uh, use for um, PowerPoint tools to create your intro slide all right and let's let's say like this uh, we drag drag the picture on the first slide and stretched out to the corners like this and then uh, you just insert the text box and type um, tap here okay also you can set any of the fonts for your game let's take this one for example and make it bigger change the color like this and also you can add the hyperlink so when you press on it it will take you to the next slide and let's make another slide and also clean this slide also transitions press on them on mouse click okay and for example if we're gonna start this game press on tab here and we're gonna get to the next slide so that's pretty much simple very basic way to do that if you want to add some motion to this animation you just select animations and press pulse and go to animation pane and timing with previews and also until next click okay like this and then tap here and okay so now we've done with the intro slide now let's go to the main game mechanics first we need to have the background on this slide so we drag the background image to this slide we stretch out okay let's see if it's uh, even everything here okay all right and now next step we need to add one player to this slide let's add one player we're gonna get this yellow face emoji um, make it small put right here right here like this we don't need to put all the characters at once because it's gonna get messy and you need to figure out which one to put where and so on so make it very simple start with the first character and then you can just copy and paste and then change the picture to a different color of the character all right so first start with the first character all the time that's what I do 
Now what we need, we need to have questions. So we drag this, we also need to square for the, the numbers like this. We also need a badge. So now let's select it all and make it smaller. Let's make the badge smaller like this. Let's make this here. Put it on a cactus, on top of the cactus. Also, you need to put it back behind the face. So we, let's put it sent back and bring forward. Okay, use buttons right here. And also we've got this shield. Let's make it a little bit even and make right here. All right, so now we've got these images. The only thing is missing is the the red X, you can just make a circle like this object and then put a color, remove the outline, type X on it and then change the font and change the color to black something like this. If you want to make this button look even more better, you can just copy this and change to the white color and put it behind, send back like this. And now it, it looks more like a button, okay? And then you just, in this case, you need to select two objects and then press group together and that's it. Oh, one thing, we forgot to add a face to this. Okay, let's go back and emojis and add a face like this. Okay, and make it smaller like this. All right, but before starting to animate all these pictures, you actually need to go to picture format and selection pane and change the words for your pictures. Let's say this is the Q1 question one and this is a badge. Uh, here we have a X button and right here we have a smiley face. Let's say and also main character yellow character also box and background. Okay when you're done with this you now you can animate so you press on the shield so you need to hide the shield first hide the shield like this okay and then if we need the face to appear okay let's make like this appear and now select both animations and trigger on the question one that means the shield uh, we remove on click change to with previews and now we can check out this animation pressing on the shield and like this okay put the face right here and also we need to put the face back behind the button X button. Now we have to animate, for example, if this image is not a match. So we need to hide the image back. And now we need to press on a face animations and let's use animation to hide it. Okay. And also press on this shield to make it appear and select both of them and trigger on an X button. Also with previews, and then let's um, let's turn on the slideshow, and let's see. We press on a shield, it appears. Press on a button, it disappears. Back to normal. All right, so that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how you can make it. Then you just copy everything, paste, now you have two things to make a match. 
Of course, you can add sound to this. To add sound, you press on a question and then effect options. You have no sound, you can add a sound or you can add even, even other sounds. That means your sounds, your own sounds to, the, to this game. Uh, let's use, for example, hammer or maybe laser. And then for the X button, we're going to use the hammer, hammer here. Okay, let's, um, let's open the slideshow here and now we've got all the sound. All right, works perfectly. We've done with this part, we added the sound and so on. Now we need to add the numbers to the box. So to make the numbers, you need to um, press on the text box and write zero. You wrote zero, change the font, change the color. You can put right here, make it bigger, put it here like this. Okay. And now we animate. We need to make it appear when we open the slideshow. Then when we press on a zero, it will disappear and the number one will appear instead. So we need to change the zero to number one. So now we press on a zero, make it disappear and number one, press on number one and press animation appear. Now we've got here two animations right here. And we also got this animation but because we copied zero, so it also copies the animation. So you delete this, we don't need this. Okay, select both, zero disappearing and one appearing and trigger on, trigger on a text box. But we don't know which text box do we need to put the trigger on, right? So in this case, you press on again on this text and then shape format, selection pane and change this text and put one and this text put zero. Now you will not get confused. Select both in animation, animation trigger on the zero. Okay, let's see. And also we need to set timing without previews okay now we um, slideshow now when we turn on slideshow we press on zero one number one will appear okay and we can put one right here and that's it and also you can add sound to this just press on the zero right here and add the sound breeze for example let's start and see all right and we're done with this part let's say if you get one point you will win the game and and in this case you want this character to like pulse for example right first press on this character image and then find pulse in animations now here we've got the animation you drag it or you trigger to this zero part and with previews and also set until next click for example and when you press on a zero now we've got this character pulsating from happiness of winning the game. <laughs> now let me show you how to change the badge from gray to colorful color. So we need to duplicate this badge, press on this badge, press on the picture format, format pane, then go to the picture color and select presets 
and select gray color. And the same thing, uh, you need to animate, it means this gray badge will disappear and, and the color will appear with pressing on a gray, on a disappearing of the gray color badge. So when you're done with your matching parts, you can just duplicate all of it. Also, you can duplicate for another character and put it here like this. Duplicate, align, press change players and change the picture like this. And now you've got two players in this game and you can copy to make four players and so on. And also you can add the winner slide. You can just copy this slide and delete everything from this slide and then add the background image to this slide like this, drag it. And then for example, give this character a hyperlink and select the slide, slide three and that's it and now if we play this out press on this character and here's the winning slide of course it's not the same like my game that I've created because you don't have all the sounds and making with all the sounds it's going to take me a lot of time to show you what to do and so on that's a lot of stuff that I cannot cover in this video I only telling you how to make the basics and the rest I think you can figure out on your own because you are legendary. So that's it, have a blast with the game, don't forget to show your love by smashing that like button and hey while you're at it hit that subscribe button too, I'll catch you in my next video, peace.